Okay folks, welcome to Gaelic Park. Uh, my name is Simon Gillespie, I'm going to be doing the commentary for today. Let me just go over the teams before we get started here now. Goals for the New York Celtics, Charlie Bruton, Eugene McHugh, uh, cornerback John Comfrey and Bridget Green. Um, Fiona Henry, Jackie Casitis and David Sheehan make up the half-back line. Cormac Connachton, Daniel O'Sullivan midfield. Neil Harper, Patrick McElhatton, Luke DeSola the half-forward line. Connor Green, Liam Cronin and Connor Cardi the full forward line. On the bench for the Celtics, James Hart, Brogan Woods, Kieran Comfrey, Hugh Murphy, Lucy Bruton, Ella Muldoon, Desmond DeSola, Megan McBride, Char Jack Michaels, Sean Devine, Kevin O'Brien, Patrick David and Dylan Sadowski. And the manager is... Brian Green as referee. Mick Burke throws the ball in now, and that's set with Barnabas off to a great start. And that is Sean O'Donnell on the ball there now. He steps it in, gives it over there to Darren Lynch. Darren Lynch on the ball, gives it back over, but it's well intercepted there now by the Celtics. And that is Cormac Connachton. Cormac Connachton over there towards Patrick McElhatton. McElhatton gets on the ball here now again. He looks up. Gives it over there towards Neil Harper. Was well intercepted by Barnabas. And that is Ryan McPhailham going to be on the ball here now. Ryan McPhailham under a lot of pressure there now from Fiona Henry. Playing her second game. Daryl Lynch on the ball here now. He's bearing down on goals. And that's just to the right hand way. The St. Barnabas team. Grace Gleason in goals. Shane McMahon cornerback. Orla Murray fullback. John Carlson. Jody O'Donnell, Liam McNally and Jack Mike, uh, Mitchell make up the half back line. Sean O'Donnell and Connor Brogan midfield. Emmett Smith, Dara Lynch, Ryan McPhail on the half forward line. Grace Dwyer, Judy Condren, Brendan McCormick make up the full forward line. And that's Charlie Bruton to kick the ball out. Ella's older brother here now as the battle is on around the middle of the field. And that is Connor Brogan. Wins the free there now for the boot in. Sean O'Donnell kicked this in now for Barnabas. Bar looks up, sees Darrell Lynch, but goes for a long ball in now in towards Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer wins the ball, gives it over there towards Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith back to Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer with the shot, just goes to the left, just goes wide. That's Charlie Bruton to kick the ball out. That's Dennis Toomey and... Uh, Park McGordy, the two umpires there, members of the Rangers club, and uh, Charlie Britton to kick the ball out here now. No score so far in Gaelic Park. 12 minutes, 22 minutes left on the clock, and that is well intercepted by the Celtics. They're under tremendous pressure. Quite a number of the players are playing their second final. Two games in a row, Sean O'Donnell gets on the ball here now. Sean O'Donnell with a block, but what a block down by Daniel Sullivan. Daniel Sullivan wins that ball, but intercepted again by Barnabas. And it's going to be a three for Celtics. Cormac Connachton. Cormac Connachton kicked that. And that's Orla Murray steps inside. Well, well caught there now by Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith gives it off towards Daryl Lynch. Daryl Lynch. So, back on to Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell gets a shot off. Blocked down, it's in. Shot opportunity there for Barnabas. And that is Jude Condren with a point. Great score for Barnabas. Charlie Bruton here with the kick out. Remember, folks, we're going Facebook Live now. Had a few technical issues, but all good now. We're able to go on Facebook Live. Thanks for joining us here in Gaelic Park. Darrell Lynch on the ball here now. Fouled by the Celtics. High ball in. Grace Dwyer with the shot off. The opportunity on the left, but it's blocked down. And that's Sean O'Donnell, and it's a goal! A goal for Barnabas, that's a goal and a point for Barnabas. Sean O'Donnell with the goal. And that is Liam McNally, he's going to be on the ball. There now, he gives it off towards Darrell Lynch. Darrell Lynch gives it back to Liam McNally. Liam McNally, big high ball in towards Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell does brilliantly to win that catch. Goes for the shot, kick, but Charlie Bruton does very well to block it. 
Does it go out wide? No, that's going to be Brendan McCormick. Brendan McCormick gives it back towards um, Ray McPhelan. Ray McPhelan back towards Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell has got an opportunity here now and kicks it wide. Okay, so a goal and a point for Barnabas. Celtics really need to get on the scoreboard here now. You feel as Patrick McElhatton struggling to get out. Well done, Jackie Casadas. She's got her hands full there now with Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer tries to pick the ball up and he does it illegally, says the referee, Mick Burke. Jackie Casadas with the long kick. She played brilliantly in the first game. Now she's going to have her work cut out to play against this Barnabas team. Haven't lost a game all year. Last year's under. 10 champions, a lot of the returning players back again for that. Liam McNally gives the ball off back over towards uh, Jack Mitchell. Jack Mitchell gives the ball off, and that is John Comfrey. John Comfrey comes out the field for a brilliant tackle there from Barnabas. It's been all Barnabas so far as Jody O'Donnell gets the ball over there, over towards Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith with a high ball in towards Grace Dwyer. It's broken down there now, and that's Jude Condren. Jude Condren's got the ball. He gives it over towards Darrell Lynch. Darrell Lynch got the shot off the left. No, he goes back on the right, and it goes out for a 45. Well blocked down by the Celtics. And it's one, four points for Barnabas. No score for the New York Celtics. And there is 20 minutes uh, left in this half. First five minutes of play almost up. And it's gonna be a 45 for St. Barnabas. Be Liam McNally now with the kick. Liam shapes up for it. He looks up. He's got a high ball in towards Sean O'Donnell. Bounces past everyone. Bright and Patrick McElhatton touches the ball there now. Jude Condren's going to get on the ball. Is it gone out for a wide ball? So Barnabas managers Neil McMahon and Jim McCormick. And Celtics managed by Brian Green. And the Celtics and the New York NYPD club, and that is Neil Harper. Neil Harper back towards Patrick McElhatton. Patrick McElhatton, long ball in, in towards. Oh, Celtics have got a chance here now. No, nope. well done, Brace Gleason there with a big kick over towards Jody O'Donnell. What a catch by Jody O'Donnell! Long ball kicked down the field in the direction of Emmett Smith. Beats everybody, just goes over the sideline. But great catch there from Jody O'Donnell, and that is. The Celtics back with Dan David Sheehan. David Sheehan back towards Liam Comfort. John Comfrey. John Comfrey under pressure from Emmett Smith. Fired by Emmett Smith. And that's going to be John Comfrey. Win the free there just past the halfway line. Clark Nocton. He's got another final after this game against, uh, against um, Johnny Gales. Clark Nocton kicks the ball. In. Well done from Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon with that to Connor McCarthy. Connor McCarthy's under a lot of pressure from Shane McMahon. Connor gets his pass off. He's intercepted there by Orla Murray. Orla Murray gives a long ball in. John Comfrey does very well. Goes in strong. Wins that ball. He's under a lot of pressure from Sean O'Donnell. Wins a free from Sean O'Donnell. And that's going to be Cormac Connachton with the kick. Cormac kicks a long high ball in towards Connor McCarthy. Connor McCarthy can't hold on to it there. And it's Sean O'Donnell. Wins a free. Sean with a long ball in towards Ray McPhelan. Ray McPhelan gets on the ball there now. He's got Sean. He's got Sean O'Donnell back on the ball there now. But that's Connor. Or Daniel Sullivan with the score. And the Celtics are off the mark. What a score from Daniel O'Sullivan. Great play by the Celtics to turn that ball over. Great individual score from Daniel Sullivan. Celtics trail now four points to one. And there is one minute to uh, three, four minutes to go to the water break. As Darren Lynch. Breaks that ball down, wins the wins the Brunson ball. He gives it over. Well intercepted there now from Patrick McElhatton, but it goes back towards Liam McNally. Liam McNally with the long kick now in the direction of Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer gets out in front of Jackie Casitas and gives it back towards Darrell Lynch. Darrell Lynch will takes a heavy knock. Hop and a solo. Picks the ball off the ground, says referee Mick Burke. And it's gonna be a free out for the Celtics, and that's gonna be Cormac Connachton there with the kick. Cormac Connachton. Big kick down towards Patrick McElhatton. Patrick McElhatton can hold on to it. Liam McNally gets it long. Kick now in the direction of Darrell Lynch. Bounces over everybody's head. And that's going to be David Sheehan to try and win that ball out in front. Does very well, but picks it off the ground. That's going to be a free in for Barnabas. About 40 yards out. Darrell Lynch to take the kick. He was man of the match last year in the other 10 final. He started off very well. Gives it over towards Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer in the direction of Duke Condren. Duke Condren. 
gives it off well tackled by Jackie Casitas over towards Liam Con uh, John Comfrey John Comfrey gives it to Jackie Casitas who clears the ball down the field it's going to be Luke DeSola Luke DeSola has to hold on take to it there's Daniel Sullivan Daniel Sullivan back over towards Patrick McElhatton under pressure from Liam McNally and the ball goes out beats everybody goes over the sideline and that's going to be a ball for Barnabas and Liam McNally to take this kick Liam McNally, an outstanding centre back on the Barnabas team. Last year has played very, very well. All this year gives a short ball off towards uh, Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell back to Liam McNally. Liam McNally off the left boot. Gives it towards Dara Lynch, but it beats everybody and goes towards John Comfrey. John Comfrey, ball goes on the ground. Sean O'Donnell, everybody's ball here now. Carmen Connachton manages to win that ball. He clears the ball down the lane, goes out over the sideline again. But scrappy play there from both teams. Barnabas to win the sideline ball. I think it's Liam McNally going to take it here again. He's got Emmett Smith in support. Liam McNally gives the ball, but the Celtics manage to turn it over. That's David Sheehan. No, nope, Barnabas win the ball back here now. Emmett Smith gets on the ball here. Lovely bounce there in the direction of Darrell Lynch. Darrell Lynch getting on the ball here now, but well done to David O'Sullivan. He's got, uh, Daniel O'Sullivan, he got an outstanding point there. He's turned the ball over, but he's blocked down by Barnabas, who are hunting down the Celtics' backs. And Celtics with Fintan Cullen get on the ball there now or sorry Daniel, Daniel Sullivan gives it over what a catch by Liam McNally Liam McNally steps back inside his player goes back in shut off the right boot this time but it's blocked down by the Celtics Celtics turn it over and that's Cormac Daniel Sullivan to Cormac Connachton Cormac Connachton he's under a lot of pressure gets a left boot in and he wins his free Cormac Connachton his uncle Terry Connachton played for Good Shepherd for many years, very, very famous Irish American player. He's playing outstanding. His two sisters, I believe, are playing later on the A13 game. There's Connor Connachton on the ball there now, steps back inside, gives it off towards Connor Cardi. Connor Cardi under a lot of pressure. Shane McMahon wins the ball, wins the free, and it's a free out for Barnabas. And that's frustration there now for the Celtics. There's Shane McMahon on the ball there now, goes brilliantly to win his free. And that's going to be Jody O'Donnell, that's Sean O'Donnell's sister. Gets the ball, big kick there towards Darrell Lynch, over towards Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith wins the ball there now, steps inside to David Sheehan, gives it off towards Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell racing towards goals, he's under pressure from Daniel Sullivan. He's got one hop and one solo only before he has to do something with it. He gets a shot off and it just goes to the right, just goes wide. Scores and it stay the same. Four points for Barnabas, one point for Celtics and there is... Two minutes left to the water, or one minute left to the water break. And that is Jack Mitchell, bounces the ball over his head, but I think he's going to win the ball here now. He does brilliantly to pick that ball up with his left boot, gives it over towards Finton Cullen. Finton Cullen on the ball there now, boot off the left, gives it over towards Ray McPhailham. Ray McPhailham gets on the ball here now, takes a hop towards Golds, kicks it in the direction of the Golds, just goes wide there. Yeah, couldn't keep it in play. We're going to have the first water break of the first half. So the score is four points to one here in Gaelic Park. A lot of pressure from Barnabas with Celtics holding on very, very strong. There are a lot of players playing their second game uh, in this match account. One, two, three. Four players starting for Celtics who played in the U9 final. And all the Barnabas players, none of them had, were in the game beforehand, so Barnabas players are much fresher. Referee Mick Burke, member of the New York Rangers Club. We have umpires down this end is Stephen Cardy and Sean Liddy, Dennis Toomey and Park McCordy. On this side, ump linesman Johnny McGinney here on the near side of the field, and on the far side, it's Mikey Tino for the New York Rangers. So there's an early sub for St. Barnabas. Fintan Cullen is on the field. Uh, water breaks are one minute long in these games. The scores are normal scores. Scores over the bar, points worth one. Scores in the back of the net worth three. Slight difference in the U9 game. These games are 25 minutes a half. If we have extra time like we did in the first half, that's five minutes a half uh, the U13 games are 30 minutes a half with 10 minute periods of extra time we have the uh, New York Senior Board Dinner Dance tonight Mike Kennedy the Juvenile Hurling Chairman is being honoured along with Seamus and Katrina Clark from uh, Slauncha last year along with the Lifetime Achievement Award from Donio Sullivan from the New York Celtics so big night 
big night tonight in Dunwoody Golf Course. Nice to see the crowds back here in Gaelic Park. It's been a tough year for everyone, but great to see everybody back able to enjoy themselves. Big achievement for the Celtics club in three finals. First time since they did the five in 1985. So Aiden Trainer told me where they won the under 10s, 12s, 14s, 16s and 18s. I don't believe anybody has, has done that since. So uh, they've been in the they've won the U9 final already. They're in the U11 final. They trail now by three points in the U13 final. They're the strong favourites over the Shannon Gales. Uh, U15 and U17s. They, they have their work cut out to win those championships as well. But they'll settle for three championships, maybe two today. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, referee McBurke blows the whistle to get the game restarted. As Barnabas stepped back out onto the field. Thanks to everybody for joining us. If people here, people watching from Ireland, New York. I know Ray Croke is in Arizona watching this game as well. Great to see everybody all over the world being able to enjoy the New York Minor Board Finals. Unfortunately, we only had the, the Championship Finals last year. We didn't have the League Finals, but uh, the Minor Board has done tremendous work to help everybody get over these diff last difficult couple of months to get every, all the kids back playing. And that's what we love to see. So we're going to get restarted here now. There's 12 and a half minutes left in the first half. Four points for Barnabas. One goal and one point. A goal for Sean O'Donnell. A point for Jude Condren. While Daniel Sullivan has a point for the Celtics. And we're going to restart here now with a kick out for the Celtics. Charlie Bruton kick out. His younger sister Ellie was part of the U9 championship winning team that just played here. A long ball out from Charlie over towards, oh but well intercepted by Sean O'Donnell. He races towards goals and gives it off towards Finton Cullen. Finton Cullen's got a chance here now off the left boot. Can Grace Dwyer keep it in? Yes she can. She's got a chance. It's a goal. What a goal for Grace Dwyer. Does brilliantly from a really tight angle. Great ball in from Finton Cullen. Excellent interception from Sean O'Donnell and St. Barnabas have taken a commanding lead now. Six points, but a great catch from David Sheehan gives it over to, towards uh, Luke DeSola. Luke DeSola back to Daniel Sullivan. Luke DeSola steps one way, goes the other, kicks a long ball over here to Neil Harper. Neil Harper in the direction of Charlie, uh, Connor Carter, but Shane McMahon again with a great intercept. Kicks the ball down. Well broken up there is John Comfrey there with the ball. Playing full back, but he's crossed the halfway line. Back over, he's got Neil Harper in support. Patrick McElhatton with him as well. Patrick McElhatton's on the ball, kicks it. Locked down, Shane McMahon with this ball here again. Steps back inside, big kick only as far as John Comfrey. John Comfrey under pressure there for Daryl Lynch. What a shoulder there. Oh, three in. Strong shoulder there from Sean Dunn. Three in, says the referee. Connor can to kick this. No, Connor Carty. Connor with a big kick out now, he's 30 yards out from goal, long distance out. Celtic's going to have to get a score on. What a score from Connor Carty. Great play there. And that is 7 points to 2. 5 points separate these teams now with 11 minutes left in the first half. High ball in, broken down. Well done there now for John Carlson from the St. Barnabas Club. Back to Dara Lynch, back over to Jack Mitchell. Jack Mitchell to Dara. Dara Lynch tackled hard by Patrick McElhatton. Off the left boot from Dara Lynch. Goes over towards Ryan McPhillum. Ryan McPhillum's going to win this foot race now. He's out in front of Henry there. And that is Jude Con Corcoran. Jude just goes to the right and just goes wide. Charlie Burton's going to kick this ball out. Charlie Bruton with the kick out. He looks for options. Long ball now over towards Jack Mitchell. I think he's going to win this great catch from Jack Mitchell. He steps in, gives it over towards Darrell Lynch. Darrell Lynch plays really well. Gives it over towards Drew Cocker and Grace Dwyer with the shot. Goes over the bar. That's a goal and a point for, for Grace Dwyer. I'm going to have a sub here now for the New York Celtics. It's a 
so for New York Celtics, Connor Green coming off and James Hart going on the field. Kick out now for Charlie Bruton. Charlie Bruton gives a big kick over the boards. Dara Lynch. Oh, what a catch from Dara Lynch. Dara steps over. Big kick Come over the boards. Come um, on, Charlie! Finton Cullen. Finton Cullen off the left. Just goes to the left and wide. Great play there now from Dara Lynch. Charlie Bruton there with another kick out. Long ball, long ball over the walls. James Hart, but it bounces on there. Emmett Smith on the ball, gives it over towards that man. That's Dara Lynch, gives a kick, big kick in towards Finton Cullen. Finton Cullen's going to have to work hard, and he does to win this ball. He's off the left boot, gives it over towards Brendan McCormick. Brendan McCormick with the ball. Oh, that's tough. Tough for the Celtics. The trail now by nine. Nine points. Three goals and two points to two points. It's going to be a long road back for the Celtics. But that's David Sheehan, or James Hart, big kick over towards Liam Cronin. Shea McMahon doing brilliantly again to win that ball. Under pressure on three Celtic players, wins his free. Does very, very well as Julia Donald's going to take her chance here now to clear the line. Big kick over towards Emmett Smith, goes over everybody's head. Darrell into the pressure from John Comfrey, gives it over towards Sean McDonald. Ball breaks down the field, and that's Daniel Sullivan, gives it over towards Patrick McElhatton. Patrick McElhatton takes on Jack Mitchell. Under a lot of pressure, fouled by Jack Mitchell. Chance for Patrick McElhatton. No, nope, gives it off to Cormac Knockton. Cormac Knockton over the boards. Daniel Sullivan, Daniel Sullivan. Long ball in, but Shane McMahon's going to win that. No, nope, Conor Carty's got a chance here now to keep the ball in play. He's going to have to work really hard here. He's on the end line. And he's free in. Yeah, fouled by Barnabas. Free in for the Celtics. Conor Carty here now to kick it. Connor Cardi with this kick goes high, goes over the bar, and a great score for Connor Cardi. It's his second point today. He's fantastic with the golf clubs and the football and the soccer. Great old all round player, Star Lynch wins this ball here now. Luck goes long, but what a block down there now from John Comfrey. He's played fantastic here for the Celtics. Got his work cut out here now, Mark and Darrell Lynch as the ball goes in and Grace Dwyer gives the ball over there and that's a brilliant, brilliant bit of play from Barnabas but under a lot of pressure there from Celtics and foul. It's going to be free in now, Sean O'Donnell to kick this. Sean goes over in the direction of Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer catches the ball here now. Grace Dwyer kicks but well blocked down but Brendan McCormick's got a chance on his second goal of the game for Brendan McCormick. Two goals for Brendan McCormick. Four goals and two points for Barnabas. Three points for the Celtics. And Patrick McElhatton wins this ball out here now. Foul on Liam McNally. Liam McNally takes a kick, kicked over in the direction of, of Connor Brogan. Connor Brogan with the kick, just goes to the right and goes wide. Celtics make a switch here now. Brogan Woods is going to come on. Eamon McHugh comes off. Brogan Woods on the field. Played fantastic there in the first game. Jackie Cassidis with the kick. Jackie goes long, but it goes over in the direction of Dar Lynch. Dar Lynch wins that ball again. Takes a hop, takes a solo. He has to play it. Kicks it off the left boot in the direction of Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer does very well to hold on to this ball. Tackled well by Jackie Cassidis. Ball on the ground is for Ryan Carlson. Ryan Carlson's on the ground. Gives it to Jackie uh, Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer back towards Finty Cullen. Finty Cullen gives a long ball over towards Daniel Sullivan, who intercepts the play. Does brilliantly off the left boot over towards. Come on, Dean. Come on, James. Tackle now, James. David Sheehan goes over, beats everybody, goes over the sideline. And Jody O'Donnell with the kick. Over towards Daniel Sullivan. Daniel Sullivan gets on the ball there now. Over towards Neil Harper. Neil Harper ball bounces over Neil Harper. Goes towards Connor Cardi. Connor Cardi is under pressure from Shane McMahon. Neil Harper gets on the ball here now. Oh, well intercepted there from John Carlson. John Carlson steps back inside and he's fouled. It's going to be a free out for Barnabas and Jodie O'Donnell's going to clear her lines here. Jodie with a big kick over towards Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell's pushing back against Barnabas. It's going to be a free in for the Celtics. James 
Hart gives it over to Cormac Connachton. Cormac Connachton gives it down towards David Sheehan. David Sheehan gives the ball over towards Neil Harper. Neil Harper back to Cormac Connachton. Cormac Connachton. He's down the left hand side of the field, but he's a right footed player. He steps back inside, hits it off the right, turns back, just goes to the left and wide. Three points for Celtics, 3 2 for Barnabas, as there's nine minutes and 29 seconds left on the clock in the half here as Bryce Gleason kicks the ball out there now towards Sean O'Donnell Sean O'Donnell catches that ball brilliant catch over towards Liam McNally Liam McNally off the right boot back towards oh but well interception there now from Fiona Henry she's played brilliantly all day today and that's Sean O'Donnell with a big kick in the direction of Brendan McCormick Brendan McCormick said two goals already and does very well to win this ball here now excellent play from Brendan McCormick steps towards the goals off the right boot goes for his hat trick no Charlie Britton there with the clearance, clears it over, but only as far as Darren Lynch. Darren Lynch does very well, steps back off the right boot, goes for goal, well blocked down by Charlie Bruton. Charlie Bruton clears his lines again, over towards uh, James Hart. What a catch from Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith gives the ball over towards Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer catches it off the right boot, just goes wide. Great play there from Barnabas. Just couldn't finish in the end. Grace Dwyer already scored a goal and a point. Jackie Cassidis with this kick out here now. She looks up. Barnabas marking really well. As the ball is cleared down the field, it's going to be a sideline ball. Ball in now towards Darrell Lynch. Darrell Lynch gets on the ball here. He's got a, a scoring opportunity here now towards Brendan McCormick. Brendan McCormick, chance to add his third. Well blocked down by Charlie Burton. Charlie Burton under pressure from Brogan Woods. Ball still in play? No. And Charlie Burton's going to kick this ball out. Charlie Britton kicks the ball there now towards David oh, Sheehan. Oh, the What's that? Ray McPhailham on the ball there now. Well blocked oh, down oh, by John Comfrey. Oh, John's under a lot of pressure and he wins his free out. Cormac connects him to take this kick. Cormac kicks it over there towards Daniel Sullivan. Daniel Sullivan gives it back to Cormac Connachton. Cormac Connachton turns the ball over and it's Conor Brogan there now on the ball. He's under pressure, but Cormac Connachton with a brilliant tackle there now. Spins out of the tackle, gives it off to Daniel Sullivan. Back to Cormac Connachton. Cormac's under pressure there now from Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell gives it over to, to yeah, gets on the ball there now. Gives it off towards Finton Cullen. Finton Cullen can't hold on to it there. As Brogan Woods battles Finton Cullen for that ball. And Brogan does brilliantly to get their ball, bender back, get that ball down. Gives the ball out, but it's intercepted there by Ryan Carlson. Ryan Carlson gives it over towards Darren Lynch. Darren Lynch on the ball there now. Gives it over towards Charlie Burton. And hold on to it. It's going to be a goal for Barnabas. That's five goals and two points. Ball cleared down the field there now towards Liam McNally. Liam McNally. Well blocked down now from Patrick McElhatton. Patrick McElhatton's got Neil Harper in support. Big kick from Patrick in the direction of Liam Cronin. Liam Cronin, maybe should have been better to catch that ball, but Tony O'Donnell gets on the ball there now. Now it's Orlett Murray. Orlett Murray off the left boot, gives it over towards Liam McNally. Ball goes out for sideline ball. Let's go! Hey, come in! 30 seconds, let's go! 30 seconds! And Celtics need a score here. There's not long left on the clock. Well done there now from John Carlson. John Carlson clears. The line's over towards Drew Corcoran. No, Sean O'Donnell gets on the ball here now. He's played brilliantly this half. Gives it off towards Darlin, but John Comfrey, what an intercept. Has he got time left? He gives it over towards Daniel Sullivan. Daniel Sullivan gives it over towards Patrick McElhan. No, that's going to be Luke DeSola. Luke DeSola on the ball there now. Gives it back to Cormac Connachton. He's got a chance for a score, but it's well blocked down. It's going to be a free in. And Celtics, seven seconds left on the clock. This might be the last end of play here now for the first half. Connor Cardi chance to add his third. The clock is going to go dead, and the score there's going to be no score. That's five goals and two points for Barnabas. 
three points for Celtic. So that is 17 points to three. Celtic's going to have a huge mountain to climb. They're going to turn this game around in the second half. And we'll join you in a few minutes. We're still loud.
Okay, we're started here now in Gaelic Park here again. Uh, it's Kyle Brogan on the ball there now. Gives it off to Jude Corcoran, but it's well intercepted by John Confrey. John Confrey kicks the ball in there now in the direction of Luke DeSola. Luke DeSola on the ball there. Gives it off to Colonel Connachton. Colonel playing very well. Steps inside Jack Mitchell and gives it off to Neil Harper. Neil Harper gives it back to Colonel Connachton under pressure from Orla Murray. What a lovely bounce. Goes one way, passes the other. And the change for the New York Celtics, that is number 20, Lucy Brighton. Up the ground there against Cormac is the first pick off the ground. It's going to be a ball for, this, for Barnabas. Jody O'Donnell. Big kick for Jody. Jody in the direction of David Sheehan. David Sheen gives it off there to Cormac Connachton. Cormac Connachton on the ball here now gives it off there towards Luke DeSola. Luke DeSola steps inside Jack Mitchell. Lovely step. Goes one way or the other. Now it's Neil Harper. Neil Harper. And it's Orla Murray battling for possession there is Jack Mitchell. Fouled there by Neil Harper. Now Ryan, look for the ball. Look for the ball, Ryan. And leave it off there to Jody. Jody had on a big, huge kick there now in the direction of. Ryan McFillan, Ryan McFillan gives it off there towards Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith is going to win this ball. Nope. Great play from Jackie Casillas. He can't keep it out and she fouls Sean O'Donnell. It's going to be a free into Barnabas. Just goes to the left and goes right. You'd be disappointed with that one. And a big kick out. Great kick there from the Celtics. Charlie Burton over to Jack Mitchell. Jack Mitchell steps inside. A foul there by Daniel Sullivan. Jody O'Donnell take this kick. A big kick there from Jody towards Jude Corcoran. Jude Corcoran does very well to win that kick. Kicks it over towards Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer. Can't hold on to it, it's going to be Cormac Connachton to come out of, the, out of the ball here now. Long kick over the boards. That's Lucy Bruton. Ball breaks down, Sean O'Donnell on the ball here now. Kicks the ball, kicks a long high ball, just goes to the right and goes wide. So the score is five goals and two points for St. Barnabas, three points for the Celtics. And there is 22 minutes and 12 seconds left on the clock. Charlie Bruton kick out. Got a long ball in towards Luke to Solo bounce over everybody's head. Connor Carty's going to win this ball here. Keep manages it very well to keep the ball in play. Off the left boot towards Patrick McElhatton. Patrick McElhatton gives it off towards Liam Cronin. Liam Cronin's got a good opportunity here now. He steps inside, goes one way, goes the other. Off the right boot. Over the bar. That's a great score for Liam Cronin. Big kick out now for Grace Gleason. Grace Gleason with the kick over towards Nail McMahon. Nail McMahon bounces the ball, goes over towards Ray McFailham. Ray McFailham takes a hop, takes a solo, loses control of the ball, touches the ball along the ground. It's going to be a free out to the Celtics. 
Connor Connaughton over there to Corey's Connor Cardi. Connor Cardi gives it back towards Connor Connaughton. Connor Connaughton back to Connor Cardi. Big ball in now towards Liam Cronin, but it's well intercepted there now by Jack Mc uh, Liam McNally. Liam McNally, what a turnover there from Liam Cronin. He bends his back to pick the ball up. Nope, falls down. Free in for Liam. And it's going to be a free in for the Celtics about 25 yards out. Shot Set. from Connor Carty, just goes to the right, Leo. goes wide. And it's up for New York Celtics, and that is Hugh Murphy coming on now for Neil Harper. Big kick out now for Grace Gleason coming up. Huge kick down the middle of the field towards J Lee McNally. Liam does very well to recover the ball. Here's under pressure from Patrick McElhatton. Kicks the ball now towards Grace Dwyer, but what a catch there by Cormac Connachton. Cormac Connachton goes through one tackle, gives it off there towards Daniel Sullivan. Daniel Sullivan kicks the ball towards Connor Cardi. Well broken down by Shane McMahon. Back over towards Luke DeSola. Luke DeSola on the ball here now. Kicks the ball in towards Liam Cronin. Liam Cronin's got a goal chance here now. Steps inside Earl Murray and it's going to be a 40. I think it's 45, yep, 45 for New York Celtics. Patrick, get up on the square, please. Up on the square, Patrick, right in the center. Right in the center, Patrick. Connor Carty take this kick here now. He's got a lot Patrick. of options in. They're going to need a goal to get back in this game, but Barnabas choked that attack up there now. And that is Hugh Murphy on the ball well, there now. Hugh, Hugh wins his feet. Job, he wins the free in there now, and it's going to be Connor Cardi again to take this kick. Take your time, Cardi. He's about 25 yards out. Long kick in over towards Daniel Sullivan. Daniel Sullivan back to Connor Connachton, but well intercepted there now. No, turned over again by Celtics. Over towards Liam Cronin. Liam Cronin's under pressure. He has got advantage, and it's a free in for the Celtics. Cardi, Connor, over the bar. Let's go. Kick from Conor Carty just out to the right and wide. He'd be disappointed with that one. He's normally very, very accurate with the with the kicks. And it's going to be Grace Gleason with the kick. Grace Gleason goes a long go. ball over towards Ellie Bruton. Or oh, sorry, um, Fiona Henry. Fiona Henry gives it off towards Daniel Sullivan. Daniel Sullivan over to Conor Carty. Conor Carty under a lot of pressure from Shane McMahon. He's fouled by Shane McMahon. Holding free Patrick, over go. towards Cormac Connachton. Cormac Connachton takes on Conor Brogan. He's fouled by Emmett Smith. Free in for the Celtics. Connor Cardi, chance to make up for the last one. Connor Cardi with the shot and makes no oh, wide again. Yeah, so the score is five goals and two points for Barnabas, four points for Celtics. And we have 17 and a half minutes left in this game. Celtics with it all to do here now to get back in. Sean O'Donnell. Steps one way, steps the other. Ball hits the deck and it's Darren Lynch. Darren Lynch does very well. And that's Fintan Cullen. Picked off the ground. Cormac Knockton. Cormac Knockton, long. Oh, Emmett Smith does very, very well. Gives the ball over to Jude Parker and Jude Parker. In. He's about 30 yards out with the kick, goes for it. No, couldn't get the legs. Goes out to the left and wide. Charlie Britton's going to take this kick out. That's a change for the New York Celtics, and that is number two. Eamon McHugh coming back on for Bridget Green. As Emmett Smith gets the ball here now over to Jude Corcoran. He spreads it wide over towards Connor Brogan, who gives it off towards Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer's at a tight angle here now, under a lot of pressure from Brogan Woods. Back towards Connor Brogan, gives it off to Darrell Lynch. Darrell Lynch off the left boot. Well blocked down by David Sheehan. And that's Patrick McElhatton gets the ball out there now. Jackie Casadis going through two players and a long kick in the direction of the Celtics forwards, which is turned over towards Liam McNally. Liam McNally puts under a lot of pressure from the Celtics. And it's a free 
in for Liam McNally. Liam McNally looks up, gives it off there towards Dara Lynch. Dara Lynch off the left foot, goes left and goes wide. As Charlie Bruton, Charlie Bruton with the kick out, goes over, but what a catch over his head by Jack Mitchell. Jack Mitchell gives it off to Darrell Lynch. Darrell Lynch gives it over towards Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer with a brilliant uh, attempt at a catch, but well broken down by Brogan Woods. Ball goes out and it's a wide ball. Oh, very good play. Celtic's doing very, very well this half. Keep the score down, they've given up no goals and only a point. No dent in Barnabas' lead though, it's been a huge gap with the goals but Barnabas doing very very well to keep the game out of Celtic's reach just at the minute. Jack Mitchell just with a foul there on David Sheehan. Cormac Connachton to take this kick. Cormac's going to have a big game again in the next game as he plays in the U13 final against Shannon Gales. That promises to be a thriller and that's Liam McNally. What a catch. Lovely sidestep. Kicks the ball down towards Conor Brogan. Conor Brogan gets on the ball. Goes for a long high ball in the direction of Grace Dwyer. Brogan Woods is going to have to work really hard to get this out ahead of Grace Dwyer. Who gives it off to Dara Lynch. Dara Lynch gives it over towards Brendan McCormick. But John Comfrey does very well. So I think the referee called a head injury. So... The Celtics are going to have an indirect free kick from here. Cormac Nocton to kick this kick out. He's got options left and right. Goes for Brogan Woods. What a catch from Brogan. Gives the ball off over towards Ellie Bruton. Ellie's got a lot of pressure, but does very well to spin out of two tackles. And Sean O'Donnell, I think he goes in the back. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be a free in now for Luke DeSola. And a sub now for New York Celtics as Fiona Henry comes off the field and James Hart comes back on. Fiona's played brilliantly in two games. Cormac Connachton, that's maybe a little short. He's got Daniel Sullivan in support. Goes towards Conor Cardi. Oh, well done by Orla Murray. Conor Cardi manages to keep that ball alive. Goes off the left boot in the direction of Liam Cronin. Two Barnabas players around him, but Liam Cronin still manages to come away with it as he goes left and right over towards Patrick McElhatton. Patrick can't hold on to it. And it's going to be off the ground against the Celtics. And that's Liam McNally gets it on over towards Conor Brogan. Yep, Conor does very well. Gives it off towards Darrell Lynch. Darrell Lynch races down the field. He's got Sean O'Donnell in support. Steps back inside and goes towards Sean O'Donnell. But Daniel Sullivan puts him under a lot of pressure. Con on, Sean O'Donnell gets on the ball here now. Brilliant block down by Cormac Connachton. And Sean O'Donnell gets a shot. And it's Rasper into the back of the net. At six, that's Con Sean O'Donnell's second goal today. Six goals for Barnabas. What a break here now in Gaelic Park. Four points for New York Celtics, six goals and two points for Barnabas. get down one day this week and we'll try and test a whole lot again. Yeah. With the microphone and the charging cable. Look at the odds, the two of them not working.
This is for the um, kind of ghost team. They said read this side because the numbers are off on the other side. Um. Welcome back to Gillick Park, here now we're into the final quarter of the game. Barnabas have a long, have a, have, have a big lead now in the, into the last 12 minutes with the Celtics, haven't given them an inch, haven't given up any chance they've had. They've fought really, really hard here. A lot of players playing in their second game already today. Celtics, new nine champions after going to extra time with Rockland. What a game that was as John Comfrey kicks the ball there down towards Connor Carty, but Liam McNally, no, uh, sorry, uh, Ryan Carlson gets on the ball there now over towards Cormac Connachton. Cormac Connachton bends his back, picks that ball up, and that's a free in for the Celtics. Cormac on the ball there now. Big kick for Cormac over towards Connor Carty. Connor Carty on the ball there now. Jody O'Donnell gets on it. Big kick from Jody O'Donnell over towards David Sheehan. David Sheehan, that's the ball bounce and that goes over his head and that's Darrell Lynch on the ball there now. He races down towards goal, he's under pressure from David Sheehan. He's taking his hop, he's oh, what a tackle from David Sheehan. Does very, very well. That's, yeah, and he wins his free. What a tackle from David Sheehan. That just shows the spirit of the Celtics team. They never give up, even when they're down in lead. And Patrick McElhatton gets on the ball here now. He's got Hugh Murphy in support, but he goes long towards Liam Cronin. Liam Cronin off the left, no, nope. turns back in on the right. Has he got the legs? No, nope. battle down. Liam McNally clears his lines there to Daniel Sullivan. Daniel Sullivan looks up there now. He's got a kick and it goes short. And Grace Gleason, what a catch from Grace Gleason. Huge kick down the field, goes high in the direction of Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith catches, can't hold on to it. David Sheehan wins that ball, goes over to Daniel Sullivan. Daniel Sullivan over to Cormac Connachton. Cormac Connachton steps back inside, lovely turn. Off the left boot there towards 21, that's Ella Muldoon. What a catch from Conor Carty. And Liam Cronin spins out of a tackle himself and wins a free in. Now Celtics have made a change with Sean Devine coming on. Uh, in, the, in the fourth quarter here, Sean's wearing number 25. Free in now for Connor Carty. Connor Carty with a great score over the bar. That's Connor Carty's third score today. Three points for Connor Carty, five points for New York Celtics. What a play there now from those Celtics players from Liam Cronin. And ball goes out again towards Jude Corker, and Jude wins his free. 
He's done very well, played very, very well this whole game here now is uh, uh, Sean O'Donnell, one of the players of the game so far. Lovely ball in towards Darrell Lynch. Goes towards Grace Dwyer, Cormac Connachton comes out with it though. Cormac probably Celtic's best player today, gives it off towards Patrick McElhatton. Patrick gives it off. He's under a lot of pressure from Barnabas. Gives it out towards James Hart. James Hart over to uh, Patrick McElhatton, over towards Conor Cardi. What a catch from Conor Cardi. Gives it off there. To, oh, what an interception there from Tony O'Donnell. She's not the only O'Donnell out in the field today playing well. And that is gone for a sideline ball. Nope, kept in play for the Celtics. That's over the words, Patrick, Patrick McElhatton. Patrick McElhatton looks up, gives a long ball there over towards Hugh Murphy. But it's intercepted there, what a play by John Carlson. John Carlson over towards Conor Brogan. Conor Brogan to Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell charges down the field and gives it off towards Jude Corker. And Jude Corker with a goal chance here, but elects to take the point, but puts it to the right and wide. So we have nine minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. Barnabas up by 20 points to 15 with nine minutes left to go. Charlie Bruton with the kick. Charlie goes long, goes in the direction of James Hart. James Hart wins that ball and gives it off towards uh, David Sheehan. David Sheehan back towards James Hart. Ball goes, hits the deck. And Dara Lynch again with the ball. Does brilliantly to get the shot away towards Jude Corker and he's all on his own. Nobody marking him. Gives the ball out wide over towards Finton Cullen. Finton Cullen with the left boot. Kicks the ball towards jo oh, John Confrey does very well to intercept that. He's played outstanding here for the Celtics today. Well done from Sean O'Donnell. It's going to be a free against Sean O'Donnell though, and Cormac Connaughton's going to take this kick. Big kick from Cormac Connaughton. Over towards Conor Carty. Conor Carty gets on the ball there now. Lovely kick off the left boot towards Liam Cronin. Liam Cronin though is intercepted by Liam McNally. And that's going to be a ball. For Barnabas or for Celtics. And it's a soap there for Celtics. Connor Cardi take this kick. I think he's going long. Gives a big high ball in there towards number 21. That's Ella Muldoon. Back to Patrick McElhatton in the direction of Hugh Murphy. Hugh Murphy does brilliantly to get possession of that ball. Gives it off towards Liam Cronin. Liam Cronin picks it off the ground though and that's disappointing for him. Grace Gleeson with the kick here now over towards Darrell Lynch. What a catch by Darrell Lynch. Gives it off towards Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell under pressure from Daniel Sullivan. He looks up. He's got Emmett Smith. Brilliant catch from Emmett Smith charging towards goals. He's got Brandon McCormick in support. Goes himself towards Hugh Corcoran. Hugh Corcoran's got a goal chance here now and he finishes in the back of the net. And that's goal number seven for the Barnabas. Goal and a point for Jude Corcoran. And it's another sub on for Celtics. That's Jack Michaels on for Liam Cronin. And I think Barnabas is going to make a change here now. Jack Mitchell coming off now for Grace Dwyer. Brendan McCormick, what an intercept play. Gives it off over towards... Jude uh, Corcoran, who fouls David Sheehan. David Sheehan gives it off towards Carmel oh, Connachton. Another sub on for Celtics, that's Megan McBride. She comes on now for Charlie Bruton. And that's Luke DeSola. Luke DeSola on the ball there now. Drops the ball under pressure from Grace Dwyer. What a catch there from John Carlson. John to over to Sean. Dara Lynch. Dara Lynch has got Orla Dwyer, or Orla, Orla Murray in support. Orla Murray goes over to what a catch from Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell gives it off now towards Ryan McPhailham. Ryan McPhailham under pressure from John Comfrey. Keeps going, Ryan McPhailham with the shot. Goes over to bar and that's Ryan McPhailham's first score today. Outstanding score from Barnabas. Seven goals and four points for Barnabas. Five points for the Celtics. And we have six minutes left on the clock. Oh, what a catch from Finty Cullen with the left boot. Hop, solo, and the shot just goes to the left and goes away. Another few subs coming on here now for the Celtics. As the Shannon Gales warm up in the corner. That's going to be a great game now. The Shannon Gales and the New York Celtics. When they met in the, in the league game, uh, Barnabas came out on top. The Shannon Gales have improved every single game since. And even though they're underdogs, they're going to work very hard to not give Celtics an easy run of it. And that is the 
ball there now for Daniel Sullivan as Cormac Connachton gets on it here now. Gives it off there towards David Sheehan. David Sheehan's got Hugh Murphy in support. Hugh Murphy's got Jack Michaels with him, but it goes back to David Sheehan. David Sheehan picks the ball off the ground. Yeah, and that's going to be Emmett Smith over towards Darren Lynch. Darren Lynch has got a ball off the left boot. Gives a long ball in towards Brendan McCormick. Brendan McCormick races down on it. But John Comfrey, you know, Brendan McCormick does brilliantly. He's got two goals already so far today, Brendan McCormick. Maybe he's thinking about getting a third. He gives it back over towards... Oh, what a catch there from David Sheehan. Oh, sorry, James Hart. Um, back towards Brendan McCormick. Brendan McCormick keeps going, gives the ball out. Intercepted by Cormac Connachton. Cormac's done brilliantly. The, here to get the ball, and that's going to be number 28. That's Dylan Zadowski on for the Celtics. Cormac Connachton to take this kick. Goes long in the direction of Patrick McElhatton. Patrick McElhatton over towards John. Towards Connor Carty. Connor Carty does brilliantly to catch that ball. Gives it over to Jack Michaels. Jack Michaels back to Connor Carty. Connor Carty looks up with the kick, drops short towards uh, Grace Gleason. Grace Gleason clears that ball down the line. Over towards Cormac Connachton. He's going to win the race here. He's got acres of time. No, he's under pressure from Connor Brogan. Gives it off towards Patrick McElhatton. Patrick McElhatton looks up, long ball in towards Connor Carty. No, bounces to the right and it bounces wide. Another couple of subs coming on. That's David Sheehan coming off the field for um, Celtics. Dara Lynch coming down the field. Sean Devine now on for the New York Celtics. Connor Cardi coming off. That's Patrick David going on for the New York Celtics. As the ball goes, bounces. Well done for the Celtics story. I think that is Megan Green. Pretty Green. That's Brian McCormick. Looks up, gives it off there now towards Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith with the kick. Goes short into the goal. That's unfortunate there for Celtics, but a great goal for Emmett Smith. And we have Fintan Cullen back on now for Barnabas. Jody O'Donnell coming off. It's going to be John Comfrey with the kick. As we have three minutes and ten seconds left to play here now. Barnabas up eight goals and three points, five points for the Celtics. Big kick for John Comfrey over towards. Cormac Connachton who just brings it over to win this ball. Hops and solos it. Left footed kick in towards Patrick McElhatton. Patrick McElhatton catches it there. He's under pressure from Orla Murray. Orla Murray's played brilliant there now at full back. She gives it off. Over towards Luke. Yes. Just, and that is Sean O'Donnell over towards Grace Dwyer. Grace Dwyer back to Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell looks up. Over, oh, what an intercept there from Cormac Connachton. He gives it off there towards Daniel Sullivan. Daniel Sullivan out towards Cormac Connachton. He's got support there now from Patrick David. Great ball from Patrick David over towards number 19. That's Hugh Murphy for the Celtics. That's a free in for the Celtics. Another sub now for, for the Celtics coming on. That's Cormac Connachton with a big long kick in towards Lucy Bruton and he gives it off towards Elmo Dune. Elmo Dune intercepted though by Orla Murray. Orla Murray kicks it down the field towards Darrell Lynch. Darrell Lynch on the ball there now. Long ball in the direction of Brendan McCormick. Bounces and it's going to be 22. That's Ryan Carlson on the ball there. But John Comfrey, a brilliant intercept. He's one of Celtic's best players as he gets back on the ball here now, approaching the halfway line. Gives it over, but it's intercepted by Shane McMahon, another man who's played outstanding for Barnabas. Grace Dwyer on the ball, does well to pick the ball up properly, gives it off towards Duke Corcoran. Duke Corcoran's going to be in a foot race here now with Dylan Sadowski. Jude wins the race, gets out in front, ball over towards Brendan McCormick. Is this going to be his hat trick? Off the right boot. White ball. Whoa. As we have into the last minute and 20 seconds left here now, Barnabas are going to be the first ever U11 New York minor board champions. First time we've had the U11 championship this year. The Celtics been brilliant the whole game. Scoreline doesn't represent how hard they've tried the whole game. They've never ever given up. As John Comfrey kicks the ball out there now, but Liam McNally, what a game he's played. He might even add to his scoreline himself. Kicks it and a great score over the bar. And that's Liam McNally's first score today. Brings the score up to eight goals and four points for Barnabas. We're into the last minute here now of the game. John Comfrey here now to take this kick. Hey, 
Big kick from John Comfrey, all the way over to Cormac Connachton. Cormac Connachton was intercepted by Conor Brogan. Conor Brogan does very well, steps back inside and gives it off to Brendan McCormick. No, gives it off to Darren Lynch. Darren Lynch gets on the ball here, steps inside. Right foot, finishes with a goal. And that's, would you believe it, Darren Lynch's first score of today. Finishes with a goal. He's played outstanding all day, one of the players of the game. Lots of great performances in the green and yellow. Grace Gleeson in, in the backs, Jack Pike, Jack Mitchell, Orla Murray, Shane McMahon. Final score there now, eight goals and four points. Barnabas five, or Celtic five points. Uh, we'll join you in a few minutes now for the U13 final between Sa Shannon Gales and New York Celtics. That will start pretty soon, but well done to St. Barnabas, the first ever U11 championship. Also great credit to the officials, especially Mick Burke's not an easy job out there. I think he did fantastic that game, well done. So we'll join you in a few minutes for the U13 final. Thank you very much.